Toyota. What's up? What's going on? Welcome to my channel. Going to be installing the Panasonic 3DO standalone emulator within Aurora on your modded Xbox 360. Let's get started. You're going to need a USB device of some kind. Insert it into your Xbox 360 and press the guide button. Scroll to the right twice. Go to system settings. Select yes. Go down to storage. Head down the bottom and select USB storage device. If it says unformatted, then go through the motions of formatting it. Now we're going to download the emulator. So press the back button on your controller. Go to scripts. Go down to homebrew store. Then emulators. And of course the 3DO X. Select yes to download it. So install and give you a notification. Now select B and keep pressing it and then select yes to restart the dashboard. Refresh it. Wait for it to finish scanning for the content. You will notice there's no box up. There are two reasons or two main reasons. One is you're not connected to the net and the other one is because the server is either down or overloaded. So just keep trying. So I tried the next day and I managed to get the covers to download or the box art as you can see there. Once that's done, remove your USB device from your 360 and insert it into your PC. create two folders one is BIOS and the other one is called ROMs we're going to the BIOS first we need to dump our 3DO ROM in there or BIOS in there we need to rename it to BIOS.ROM Next we need to dump our game and it needs to be in an ISO format. Once that's done, eject your USB device from your PC and reinsert it into your Xbox 360. Once the console recognizes it, press the back button, go down to file manager, then down to USB 0, press X on BIOS, go down and do the same on ROMs, press left on the controller, go down to copy and press A, press RB, go down to HDD1, then down to emulators folder, then into the 3DO folder. You'll notice there's already a BIOS and a ROMs folder there, we're going to override it, press left on the controller, go down to paste and press A and select yes. Once that's complete, press the B button to go all the way out. Now we're going to load the emulator, press A on it. Once it starts up, you'll be presented with the BIOS screen. In order to load a game, you need to press the right analog stick in, like as you would with a button, to bring up this menu here. The games, you can see there, balls is right there. So I'm going to push A on it to load it.
to quit out of this game and run another one press in the analog stick again the right side as a button and it'll take you back to the games menu So as you can see there, that game ran pretty horrible. Um, I'm not sure about this emulator as I've not tested it extensively on multiple games yet, but at least it is up and running. If you learned something today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah.